Hi, this is Jamie with Compressor Source. Today we are here to do an instructional video on how to wire up a magnetic starter. Something we get a lot of questions on. In front of me is our 5 horsepower magnetic starter. We also carry them in 7.5 horsepower, 10 horsepower, and 15 horsepower in single and three phase. This particular unit is in a metal housing. It has knockouts on the top and knockouts on the bottom for incoming and outgoing wires. Also on the bottom of this is located uh, the ground screw. Inside the uh, housing you're going to see the magnetic starter itself. Uh, you will have your incoming power that will need to go to these top two outside terminals and then your motor wires will go to the top, bottom two outside terminals. The center terminals of this starter is not used because this is a single phase unit. If it was a three phase unit you would also be using these center terminals. So once you have your incoming power going to 1L1 and 5L3 you will have your motor wires going from 2T1 and 6T3 out to your motor. Once all that is wired up, you also have uh, your ground wires, which uh, will go to this ground screw we talked about, or it can go anywhere to this metal housing uh, on the back here or on the side, as long as it's to the metal housing itself. It does come with some grommets for these knockouts if you need them. Uh, besides that, you will need to wire up your pressure switch, the pressure switch will have two wires uh, going to the magnetic starter. One of those wires is going to go to 1L1, which is the same wire as one of your power wires coming in. The other wire will go to A2, which is directly behind L1, or down here to number 14. Either one of these terminals will, will work fine. Uh, they're both connected by this yellow wire. Uh, whatever one works easiest for you during uh, installation. The wires going from your starter to your pressure switch uh, you will have two of those wires. Uh, this is a furnace style pressure switch which kind of has the stair step style terminals. Uh, there's also square D where they're all in a row. Uh, depending on uh, the switch, how they function, this particular unit has contacts on each side. So these two terminals are one set and these two terminals are one set. So your two wires, you have to have one going to the uh, bottom and one going to the top but they have to be on one side or the other. You cannot put two wires down here or two wires up here. They have to be over here or over here. Once you get that uh, all connected, everything should be wired up uh, and, and functional at that point. You will have to uh, make sure you uh, set this adjustable amperage overload uh, correctly, depending on the size of motor you have. A five horsepower motor is typically 20 to 24 amps. Uh, this is set at 28 amps. Uh, it's good to have it about 10 to 15 percent above your actual uh, motor full load amps. You also on this starter have a adjustable reset button. You can adjust it to auto reset or leave it on manual reset. I highly recommend leaving it on manual reset. Uh, if it ever uh, kicks out you come up here and press on this blue button and you're good to go. If you have any more questions that I didn't answer uh, you can give us a call at 1-888 396-8676 or visit our website at www.compressor-source.com. Thank you for watching this video.